morning everybody i welcome all my bsc students for this teaching session as you know we are uh, forced holiday nowadays due to the covid 19 but taking the advantage of these holidays i just want to start from where i finished in the class because we have long holidays maybe and so our studies will not suffer i will start here from right from the mays and then goes to the botanical names please bear with me i will again come back morning everybody welcome back now today we are taking the maize maize is the botanical name zea maize belongs to family gramineae and the maize is having height of 5-10 feet as we count the words of maize they are five so it is five and the double of it as is 10 10 feet it is a herbaceous annual and then i already told you that area of cultivation is to be studied in two parts first is the word and then in is india in word more than half of the total word corn is grown in the corn belt region in united states of america besides that we have china india mexico italy you know nowadays italy is very prominently uh, in news and then hungary i already told you how to remember these because first two are the developing and then we have the others hitli angri in india the maize is chiefly grown in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttar pradesh punjab bihar madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka and rajasthan when we plot it on the map so it look like this this is punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar and then we have gujarat rajasthan maharashtra karnataka right and in between this cup like is the madhya pradesh you must be knowing that i already told you just say what is this this is just desh mein ganga behti hai and this is the indo gangetic plain and here the soil is alluvial whereas towards from rajasthan this side it is loam soil particularly sandy loam and loam and this cup shaped called which is heart of the india madhya pradesh they have a black loam which is basically known as the black cotton soil so uh, soil requirement you came to know from the area of cultivation that is loam soils fertile and well drained loam soils alluvial and black cotton loam soil right so now we are coming to the cultivation practices that is the maize is a annual crop annual means every year we have to grow it and it is a kharif crop kharif crop it is grown in the rainy seasons june and july whereas the harvest is in september and october right and may maize is adapted to regions where the hot and night temperature is over 21 degree centigrade right and seed beds in maize are 60-75 cm you will see so when we go for the seed beds this one seed bed and this second seed bed seed bed 1 seed bed 2 and the distance between them is 60-75 cm see this we have right so uh, then we are coming back to again uh, over description it can be grown in unirrigated uh, areas where the rainfall is 75% cm or more right so 75% uh, cm or more so rainfall should be this when we see the map so in this area particularly when we take average and in this area it will come around 75 cm or nearby it right so uh, from the rainfall we can also get the area from the area we can get the soil meanwhile the average uh, summer temperature is 65 degree fahrenheit to 75 we, i already told you the distance is 60-75 so when we put a bodhi here upper bodhi that is degree fahrenheit we came to the temperature so no issue with that so then we are coming to the next part that is being a water loving crop it require constant supply of moisture particularly during silking and tesseling and what is silking and tesseling so we came to know that this is a maize crop plant maize plant they have nodes and internodes and from the lower most internodes we have the roots right prop roots and then uh, in maize we have uh, 
here leaf here and from there it comes the cob and this is called tasseling and up top when it goes and here this is called silking these greens will fall here all means and then fertilization will occur so at the time of tasseling and uh, silking the moisture is required particularly otherwise what will happen uh, the uh, which cobs are produced they are poorly filled you must have seen in the basically in the mandis you have gone there are some corns with the grains are not filled so this is because of that time of silking and tasseling the proper moisture is not given now we are coming to the fertilizers so fertilizers uh, uh, is a very important and prominent part of the cultivation and in this uh, fertilizers we have first is the phosphoric acid 6 kg per hectare potash 36 kg per hectare and nitrogen 110 kg per hectare these are the three uh, prominent uh, uh, parts we have so, but when we say, I already told you that maize is 5 and next word is 6. 6 1 the 6. Then 6 come here. 6 6 the 36. Right? Then 6 6 6 18 19 20. 6 20 the 120. So 6 is the phosphorus. 36 is the potash. And 120 we have 110 is the nitrogen. And this is uh, given in two dressing. The first dressing and plants are 13 15-20 cm and the second dressing when the plants are 60-75 same right so uh, when uh, we give the two dressings we will get the good yield so next is the herbicide herbicides uh, like 2,4-D is basically used at the time of pre and post emergence so after that uh, we come to the Harvesting. Harvesting is uh, basically the uh, depends upon when the leaves of the crop turn yellow and grains become hard and the, it uh, comes to the harvesting time. And the growing season of maize is 90 160 days. And this is the what we have uh, done till now. So I again uh, uh, revise. So I will revise. Uh, see, maize as we know. We have uh, five words and uh, we come to the table of five and the five, five to the ten and the uh, five to ten is the height of the plant. Then five to the fifteen, five for the twenty, it is the first dressing time. Then five to the sixty and five fifteen the seventy five, this is second dressing time. The height of the plant that then second dressing to take place. Seventy five is the basically rainfall and sixty to seventy five is the distance and when we put one bodhi on the 60 and thus that degree is the fern heat of its temperature. So now we are uh, just left with the uh, one part that is the high yielding varieties. The high yielding varieties of uh, maize first is Ganga hybrid. Just we call it Makka 5. It is suitable for the Indo-Gangetic plains. This plain and peninsular India. This right. So it matures in 90-105 days and uh, basically resistant to the brown stripe downy mildew and lodging and yield. You will see yield 45 to 55. Then next is the Johar composite. It area is same but the days increase is slight because at that we have 95 to 105 and here we have 100 to 105 and it is resistant to the downy mildew and leaf blight. And the yield uh, improves a slot. Here we end at 55, and it here it starts at 55 to 6000. Then in the Vikram composite, it is to northern plains. We over areas like this, this, this area, and uh, in northern plains it matures in 90-95 days, a bit uh, earlier than the uh, Johar composite, and resistant to the same downy mildew. They are same downy mildew leaf blight. Then yield is same 55 to 6000 
and the last variety is the Ageti 76. It is the recently developed variety which is released by Punjab Agriculture University Ludhiana and it has early maturing only 88 days. So in between we have a lot of time which farmers can grow uh, crops, legume crops for their uh, animals and uh, uh, small crops which are uh, like methi and sun uh, which are very helpful to them in economical point. So resistant to downy mildew and brown stripe. So uh, it is resistant to the downy mildew and brown stripe. You see the first, first one it is also brown stripe and downy mildew. So this first and this is the same. So yield is 55 to 66,000 uh, 6, same as the last one in case of Vikram composite and Johar composite we did and now as we I already told you in the class we now with other varieties like Vijay, Kisan, Vikram, Opaque 2 and Amber right so I again revise so as maize is basically uh, five words right you will see maize has five words count one two three four five so 5 and the 5 and 5 to the 10, it is the height of the plant and 5, 3 the 15 and 5 for the 20 is the first dressing time. It is the height of plant when first dressing will take place and 5, 12 the 60 and 5, 15 the 75, it is the second height of the plant when the second dressing take place and the 75 is the annual rainfall, oh, less than 75 is required because I already told you in the map and this is the area where basically which is marked here having a rainfall less than 75 and then uh, 75 is also distance between the 60 dash 75 is the distance between the seed beds and last when we put one uh, above the above it and it com uh, comes 66 dash 75 degree Fahrenheit is the average temperature which is required for its growth thank you be safe be indoor thank you okay welcome back everybody Today we are taking the uh, botanical name session which is very prominent in our paper. The first uh, we take is the Arjun. Arjun whose botanical name is Terminera Arjuna and family Combritaceae. Please write Combritaceae, right? And the part used are all parts particularly bark and wood. So I already told you the bark of Arjun of tree is astringent. Astringent is a very prominently used in every household so it is also used in fractures besides this the bark is excellent source of cardiac tonic so this is very good to make our heart strong like steel and it reduces stress cholesterol so the cardiac problem is due to these stress and cholesterol first it reduces these and then uh, it act as a tonic to the heart and then it also regulates the third heart problem is due to blood pressure. So these three are first controlled by Arjun and these three results in making it a cardiac tonic. Besides it, it also cures uh, venal and viral diseases, right? Venal and viral diseases are also controlled by this. It is also used in stopping bleeding and helps to relieve fever. So in the crux, I will say, it is terminal arjuna is a cardiac tonic astringent and it reduces stress cholesterol blood pressure right and besides it stops bleeding and helps in relieving fever the second is the malatti malatti we can sweet wood it is glyceriza glabra and the family is leguminaceae and the part used mind it dried roots and rhizome so you should not uh, make it wrong dried roots and rhizomes so uh, economic importance first is the glycyrrhizin. I already told you in botany we have very prominent of like uh, ingwa. Ingwa means uh, used in Chennai Express also in in. So glycyrrhizin Z A if you remove A and put in ingwa it is the chemical compound which is extracted from glycyrrhizin. It is fifty times sweeter than sugar. You will get the MCQ. Dash is the compound which is 50 times sweeter than sugar. So you will see glycerizing. So it protects liver against infection and chemicals, right? So the fiber of malati, fiber we get from the malati is called maftax, is used for making wall board and box board for insulating and also for the insulating material. Besides this, it is used as tonic expectorant. Expectorant 
and for treating the gastric ulcer. In crux, we will say it is a source of uh, protection against liver. So, a source of maftax, tonic and glycerizin. So, I will uh, basically advise you to get the uh, glycerizin liquids when the, this uh, lockdown finished and uh, regularly use it because it will protect your liver. Liver uh, is basically infected by the viral diseases and something else. Viral diseases we are facing nowadays. So th this is a long term uh, remedy for the virus diseases, right? And the second, next we are coming to the poppy. Poppy botanical name is Papaver somniferum and family Papaveraceae and it is a whole plant, fruits and seeds. So uh, now question comes, the name uh, alkaloid of poppy. One is morphine. Morphine and alkaloid of poppy is used in the cough medicines and reduce blood pressure, right? So morphine is a very good uh, uh, alkaloid which is used in all the cough syrups we are taking. So it is well known pain reliever and used in whooping cough medicines, right? And whooping cough, you may know. Opium is used to relieve the pain and anxiety and it induces sleep and dreams. So we say hallucination. So people uh, misuse it and uh, take it for inducing hallucination. So, but it has a good economic importance. It reduces bleeding. So in crux, it is a two uh, alkaloid is the morphine. So uh, this uh, poppy, which we call Papaver somniferum is very important economically. And that's why we have reading it. Now we are coming to the next is the Belladonna. Belladonna is also called deadly nightshade. And its botanical name is Atropa Belladonna, family Solanaceae, and part used is dried leaves, tops of the plants, and the roots. Right? Economic importance, as I said, Atropa, remove A and in, IN. But here E also. And alkaloid of Atropa used in dilation of eye pupil. And it used to increase the eye pupil and uh, basically used by the ophthalmologist when surgery time. They will uh, put it drops in the eye and get the surgery. Also in uh, to your home, your grandparents are using the eye drops. You will see on that uh, 1% yeah, less than the 1% it is atropine is added in these eye drops. It is also used to relieve pain and check whooping cuff and asthma as that of same of malati, right? Atropine act as stimulant to the sympathetic nervous system and act as very important antidote to opium, right? Those who have addiction to the uh, puppy, so the, it is act as an antidote. It is recommended in neurologic pain and reduces nasal secretions. So hence Balladonna, which is deadly nightshade, uh, belong to family Salonese. It is a source of atropine and also used for the uh, antidote to the opium. Thank you. I will again connect you with remaining parts of the botanical name. So, welcome back. The next is the Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha botanical name is Vitania somnifera and family Solanaceae and the part used is dried roots and uh, then we are coming to the economic importance. It is used for cough, dropsy, rheumatism and cure of female disorders. Right? It is also used for the all type of types of weaknesses and increased strength and vigor. It is also used for nervous disorders and the treatment of hypertension. Leaf of this promote healing and painful swelling. So ashwagandha is a wonder drug which is used in basically cough, dropsy, other uh, to correct the, all the weaknesses, uh, particularly male and female, and increases strength and vigor. So uh, it is of great importance for the humankind. So next we are coming to the choir, the botanical name Cucus nucifera, family palmi, and the part used is coarse rough fibers. The coir is used for making ropes useful in shipping and transportation. Besides, it is used for making brushes and doormats. And the fibers is used in soundproof rooms making, fireproof boats, writing boats. And fibers is also used in making of mats, stuffing of sofa sets. So this uh, Cocos uh, nucifera this is a uh, uh, is important fiber which is used in daily works right so now we are coming to the next that is the amla amla the botanical name is imblica officinalis euphorbiaceae 
all parts fruit seed leaves bark and flowers they are useful so it is uh, as I, we already told this it is astringent like uh, uh, we have done in arjun right so in arjun we did it is astringent so it is also astringent so amla juice contain vitamin c and good remedy for jaundice right besides this the amla is the important gradient of trifala trifala children we all have in our home right trifala cure diarrhea dysentery liver enlargements right as a decoction of leaves of amla is used in mouthwash right and lotion for the eye infections so amla is a very important uh, plant besides in astringent it is used in trifala and source of vitamin c which prevent us from the disease scurvy so next to is the flax very important linum usata tisimum linaceae fibers are formed in the pericycle please remember pericycle economic importance the fibers are chiefly used in the manufacture of linen cloth these linen cloth are very expensive and very light and very uh, provide uh, uh, coolness right coarse fibers are used in the manufacture of cigarette papers writing papers and insulating materials right fiber is extensively used in the manufacture of twines rassiyan jisko bolte hain carpets cigarette paper i already told you fish nets right and nets fragments of fibers used in the manufacture of fabrics ropes and stuffing purpose like pillows and uh, mattresses so uh, flax is a very important uh, we get linen cloth from it and it comes from the pericycle right this even uh, comes in the oct question so which fiber comes from the pericycle right thank you i will again connect you with the next set of the cultivation and botanical name thank you be indoors be safe thank you